This is calculator question number 27. The College Board gives us a scatter plot with a line of best fit. It's important to read the axes, and they're particularly important in this question. The horizontal axis, the x-axis, is population density in people per square mile, and the vertical axis is relative housing cost, which is the percent of the national average housing cost, and that turns out to be important. And their question is, which of the following best describes the number 61 in the equation of the line of best fit? The number 61 is the y-intercept. So that's the estimated relative housing cost as a percent of the national average housing cost for very, very low population densities. So choice A interprets that 61 as dollars per month. But these are not dollars. This is a percent, so choice A is not correct. Choice B interprets this as a percent of the highest housing cost, but this is a percent of the national average cost, so D is not correct, because the highest is up here at 400, and we are not 61% of 400. That would be about 240-ish up here, so choice B is not correct. Choices C and D are almost identical wording, so it's important to read the words where they differ. In 2005, even in cities with low population densities, housing costs in choice C were never below 61% of the national average, and in choice D were likely at least 61% of the national average. Testmanship tells us that when they say never, that is almost never the correct answer. But let's take a look at the math side of this also. This is a scatter plot and observations for the cities that are plotted here can be above or below the scatter plot. So for very low population densities, if we include more cities, we would expect points above and below the line of best fit, which means you could have points where the relative housing cost as a percent of national average was below the 61 y-intercept. So we cannot conclude never below 61 percent because this is a line of best fit, not an absolute. The correct answer would be D, that they were likely at least 61 percent of the national average, even for low population densities. It's important to be able to read scatter plots and lines of best fit. They're tested very often, and especially to read test questions carefully. When you get answers that are as similar as choices C and D, look for where they're different and then analyze which one would be correct. Come back soon for my next video. With math, there's always more.